Hello and welcome to another episode of What's Good in Africa This Week. I am Ibukun Sixtus. Please like, share, comment, subscribe and do not forget to turn on your bell notification icon. It has been reported that the African tech ecosystem in recent times is buckling global norms as financing for startups on the continent continues to rise. This brings us to our opening story which recounts the latest funding of Egyptian B2B e-commerce startup Mazaya as it secured the sum of $5 million in a pre-seed funding round. The funding round was led by Raya Trade and Distribution with participation from some angel investors. Founded in 2021 by Amir Abo Fatou, Mazaya is a B2B e-commerce marketplace that provides retailers and merchants of electronic goods the ability to efficiently procure inventory and access value-added services. Since its launch, the B2B startup has gathered over 1,000 SKUs, 6,000 retailers, fulfilled over 30,000 orders and achieved a gross merchandise value of $15 million. Mazaya aims to use its latest funding to expand into other markets beyond Egypt. Still on tech, Ugandan fintech startup Numida has raised the sum of $12.3 million in a seed round. The funding round was led by MFS Africa with participation from DRK Foundation and Segal Family Foundation, amongst others. Co-founded in 2017 by Mina Shahid, Catherine Dennis, and Ben Best, Numida is the first and largest mobile platform in Africa, focused on offering digital, convenient, and responsible financial services, specifically to the semi-formal African money services business. The company to date has issued over $20 million in working capital to micro and small businesses with a monthly growth difference from $250,000 to $2 million. Numida aims to use the recent funding to increase its Ugandan market and launch into other African markets. Now on Africa Achievement, award-winning South African poet and writer Zabiso Vili has been crowned the first World Poetry Slam champion 2022 in Brussels, Belgium. The Poetry Slam competition is described as a kind of verbal and poetic boxing match where blows are replaced by words. The poet who faced off a knocked out competition from 40 slam poets from across the world did well to impress the international jury with his poem, Forget How to Die. The extraordinary poet who has an extensive range of works is one who believes that art offers humanity a path towards integration, joy, healing and alternative spaces should be created to share art innovatively. Dear African youth, I remind you the words of the living legend Nelson Mandela, which says, and I quote, I never lose, I either win or learn. This deep saying only means that although sometimes in life you may lose, you should always learn from your mistakes. Remember, there is no champion that has never lost a battle once. There is nothing wrong in falling, but there is everything wrong with failing to rise. Rise above all your failures, limitations and fears today. Make tangible use of the gift of the present. Cheers to all those who see challenges as a chance to get better. You are indeed the true champion. In entertainment, Nigerian music producer and artist manager Simon Okeke recently emerged as the only Afrobeats producer to represent Africa at the 2022 BET Hip Hop Awards. With notable mentions of Afro legends like Fela, Two Face, Whiskey, Davido, and Bonoboy, the producer reckons that the Afrobeat genre has come to stay as it has transcended many generations whilst maintaining its rhythmic appeal over the years. Simon Okeke also expressed high hopes 
of groundbreaking collaborations between hip hop and Afrobeat artists. Our product for the week is the world's first impact led wellness and niche fragrance brand, Nadra Shafari. The Atisano Fragrance House is a unique African brand grounded in the science and healing power of aromatherapy and produces a range of intoxicating luxury scents and fragrances. Developed to evoke a sense of universal well-being, the natural fragrances are produced by the best hands, consisting of skilled local farmers, distillers and perfumers from Africa, India and Indonesia. With the availability of limited seasonal scents as nature provides, every drop is natural, organic and legendary. Upon use, the brand's luxury scents and fragrances are believed to have uplifting tendencies, helping with relaxation and sensuality. So if you want to maintain that great physiological balance and suave, try Nadra Shafari products today. Also, for product of the week, we are glad to inform you that the biggest international digital product, YEV, has just been launched. YEV is a unique online booking company with an app that offers professional, reliable event personnel, creatives and equipment for events and event organizers. With a one-of-a-kind system developed to help find and hire professional personnel for all your events, ranging from concert, festivals, corporate events, private parties, fraternity functions, you name it, we've got you covered. With just a click of a button, the YEV app provides clients with a vast searchable database of trustworthy event professionals who are ready to cover your event even at the last minute. Incredible. Please log on to www.yev.co.uk or download the YEV app on Google Play and App Store today to enjoy the best of event management. Delving into the rich world of modern art, education and culture, we take a tour around one of Africa's finest museums, the Museum of African Contemporary Art Almaden, Marrakesh, Morocco. <laughs> Founded in 2016, the museum is an independent, not-for-profit art museum dedicated to the collection, exhibition and preservation of African art made by established and emerging artists from Africa and the diaspora. With a mission to disseminate, educate and popularize art in Africa and beyond, the museum uses culture as a lever for development and inclusion by collecting and showcasing artworks made by eminent artists. The Museum of African Contemporary Art in Almadin, Morocco is indeed one of Africa's archival treasures and must be visited by all lovers of art and culture. Thank you for watching this episode of What's Good in Africa this week. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do so and follow us across all our social media platforms. Remember, every champion was once a contender who refused to give up. Spread nothing but good news. Have a great week.